Hello friends. I've received an interesting gift from my friend Target Price from Hong Kong. It's a new product that will be available from him in September. By the way, my followers will receive an exclusive discount. So, we have an allegedly half-scale model of an AK74 or AKM, or whatever the combination may be. The model is from Alloy Empire and, of course, cannot actually fire. First, let's measure its length. Okay, it's nearly 52 centimeters. The real AK-74 is listed at 870 millimeters. That means the scale is 1.65 or, in other words, 60%. Honestly, I'm not a fan of such large miniatures. Alright, first impression, it's really heavy and feels good in the hand. The sound it makes is also very authentical. The model definitely has features of the AK-74, like the gas tube or furniture, but also typical characteristics of the AK-AKM series. For example, the magazine and ammunition, or the AKM's characteristic slanted muzzle brake. Everything that should move is movable. The first downside is that it lacks any markings. Unfortunately, the wood isn't real. It's painted plastic that remind me the Bakelite on East German AKs. Instead of rivets, there are screws with hex heads. In theory, it seems like it could be completely disassembled. Additional holes seem to be intended for some kind of optical mount. The magazine isn't stamped. It's cast. Very thick walled and heavy. A later plastic magazine would fit the model better. Time to fire up my 3D printer. The ammunition is definitely supposed to represent 7.62 by 39. There are 8 pieces included. It's quite satisfying to see them slot into the magazine. Nice, they eject quite cleanly. Mechanics are very smooth, nothing sticks, soft as butter. So, it's time to disassemble them. First check they're truly empty. As it should be, it can't be fired if the bolt carrier isn't in the forward position. Let's remove the gas tube as well.
the compartment for cleaning tools is missing, which you'd expect at that size. Nice and nude. Oops, almost forgot the bolt. Here's the stand with Chinese characters. I hope it doesn't mean one ton soup. Well, close enough. The stand isn't bad, just needs a bit of touch up paint. Here is a comparison to the M4, which is really in 1 to 2 scale. Now, as I know you're all thinking, can it shoot .22? Can it shoot .177? Of course, it can. I mean, the barrel is a solid piece of metal without any bore, so what can go wrong? Here, I have a box of .22 long rifle rounds, we'll do a test shoot now. Aha! They fit perfectly in the magazine. Load them up. Nothing. Well, that was expected. Somehow. I must say, I think I could modify it to fire them, as it's massive and heavy. It could probably handle a few shots. However, that's illegal here, and I definitely won't be doing it. Here, for comparison, 
is my high-end 1 to 3 scale AKM. Wood, steel, everything as it should be. It probably costs 4 times as much as this larger one. The model will be available in September, and my followers will also receive a discount. I'll provide more information on that separately later. So stay tuned, thanks for watching me, and until next time.